Hey everyone, and welcome to this little tutorial on how to sew in the ends of a crochet project. This tutorial is referring to my video on how to crochet a heart square, and you can find that on my page or in the description box if you're interested. But you can use the methods described in this video for any crochet project. And for now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and let's get started! To sew in the ends of your crochet work, you will need one of these two things. A darning needle or a crochet hook, preferably the one with which you crochet your work. So for those of you who don't have a darning needle, don't worry, if you don't have one you can simply use your crochet hook and I will show you how to do that soon. I will explain the two methods on how to sew in the ends. One is using a darning needle and one is using a crochet hook. And what we're going to do now is um, we're going to sew in our ends. So what you do is you pull up a loop like this, just pull your hook a little bit uh, so that the stitches don't come undone. You're going to put your crochet hook aside and you're going to grab your scissors. And now we're going to cut off this yarn, just leave a little bit, like 10 to 15 centimeters, and you're going to cut it off so that you have this loop here and this is the end of your yarn. And now you're going to pull through, pull it through the way and then it's secured so now your stitches won't come undone and we're going to sew in this end in a second and um, before that you're going to cut off your red yarn as well and leave like 10 to 15 centimeters so now we're going to grab our purple yarn first and you're going to put this you're going to grab your darning needle and you're going to put your um, yarn through the loop and for those of you who don't have a darning needle um, I will be showing you how to sew in the ends with a crochet hook um, later on so I'll be first be doing this with a darning needle and then I will show you how to do this with uh, the crochet hook so now with your purple yarn you can see this is the front this is the back so you don't want any of this yarn to be at the front so what you can do is you go through your stitch that you made somewhere right here this is the front right so you go from front to back and then it's going to leave you with this pretty neat edge and now the yarn is at the back and what I do is I just go back and forth through some of these stitches to secure this yarn and you want to make sure that you don't go through all the way to the other side so that you don't end up with some weird sort of pattern here but for example if you have this row here you can go through one of these loops here for example or you could just go through the stitch here this part so you pull through here for example you can check on the other side it's not really visible and you can do that for a couple of stitches just pull it through some of these make sure that you don't tighten it too much so that it doesn't get pulled together somewhat and put it through three of these now I'll go through maybe this one still and then we're gonna sew this and make a little knot so now for the last one before you tie it off Going to pull through but you leave a little loop at the end right so I pulled it through one of these sort of stitches we have a loop and now you're going to go through this loop like so and then you see you have another loop coming up so you went through this right with this yarn and you're going to hold this loop because you're going to go through this in a second and you just pull on it so that it's a bit tightened and now you're going to go through this loop that you just made and you're going to pull tight that's going to give you a nice tight knot and that's your first yarn sewed and tied off now you can pull the yarn out of the darning needle and you can cut off this end nice and short and the same thing you're going to do for the other three yarn rests might have a little short yarn here um, but that should be fine because it's also secured within all the crochet stitches 
So I'm going to sew in the rest of them and then I will meet you back again to look at the final crochet project. And I will also show you how to do this with a crochet hook. And now what I'm going to show you as well is how to do this if you don't have a darning needle. Because I did not have a darning needle at the beginning when I started crocheting and if you use a regular sewing needle um, there's a high chance that you won't be able to get this yarn through the needle. So for this one, if you use a crochet hook it's probably best if you have a bit of a longer thread but this will work just fine as well. So we're going to start off at the top so this is where we finished crocheting right this is our last row that we did and now we have this yarn and we want to bring it to this side to the back side so what you're going to do is you're going to go through this loop right here well this sort of hole here this is your last stitch and you're going to go through this and then you're going to grab your yarn you can hold it however you want just hold it so that it's a little bit there's a little bit of a tension on there and you're just going to wrap this around your hook, sort of like yarning over, right? You're going to wrap it around, make sure that you can pull it through, and then you pull it through to this side. And this is the same sort of thing that we did with the darning needle. So now it's on the other side. It's looking pretty neat on this side. And now what you can do to sort of um, sew it in, instead of what you would do with the needle, that you would go through these stitches like this with your yarn on your needle you're gonna use the crochet hook to pull your yarn towards you so to pull your yarn through these loops so for example before I went through one of these stitches with the darning needle and now I'm gonna go just carefully go through this loop with my crochet hook take your yarn you wrap it around hold it a little bit tight so that you can pull it through easily and then you pull it through Make sure that it's nice and flat. And you can do that for a couple of these again. You go through this one, grab your yarn and you pull it through. Um, I'm going to do it one more time, I think. Go through here. Make sure that it's only this loop, not the whole stitch. You wrap your yarn around and you pull it through. Now it's been pulled through these three stitches. And now to tie it off, same thing as before, but we're going to use our hands instead of the needle. You're going to choose one of these loops, for example this one. You're going to pull your yarn through. But now you're going to make sure that you pull with your finger. You can put your, oh, your crochet hook aside. Pull this one with your finger and now we're going to do the knot that we did before, so you have to sort of pull the yarn out a little bit again, like this. Then you're going to grab the end of your yarn, you have a loop right here, and you're going to put it through this loop. Grab it like this. Make sure that you don't put it through all the way, but you sort of make a loop with the yarn that you just um, grabbed. And then you can pull it tight. And then pull it tight on this end and then you do the same thing that we just did again but with the loop that you just made so you go with the yarn but now you can pull it through all the way and then you can pull it tight and that's gonna do the same knot that we did earlier but then without a darning needle but with a crochet hook now you can cut it off as well and then that's you done. Now for this one this is a little bit short so we can actually probably just do a knot immediately just to show you again how this works. We're gonna go through this loop for example, grab a yarn, go through, don't pull it all the way through then it will make it too tight and now you need to find your yarn again that you just pulled through and you gently pull up a loop. Now you put your yarn through, and this one is a bit short, so you have this loop here that you want to pull through, through the loop that you just made, and now you need to pull on one side of this to tighten it already, and then you go through it again like this, 
and you can pull it tight. You can also do other knots of course so this is just the one that I use the most because it's pretty secure and doesn't come undone. But yeah that's what you're gonna do for the other two um, yarn threads as well and then you will be done with your crochet square. So now I've sewed in all the ends and this is what it looks like. Just need to cut off this end here and then this is your final heart pattern, your final heart square. Um, I sewed in this thread from the beginning till here sort of and the red one is in here and then you have a super neat heart on this side. And that is how you can sew in the ends of your crochet piece. Speaking of crochet pieces, I'm currently working on a crochet pattern for this heart bag here which I designed recently. So check out my Instagram for updates on that pattern if you're interested, but I will also be announcing the release of the pattern here on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Let me know what you think of it and do check out my video on how to crochet a heart square if you're interested in that. And if you're interested in seeing more crochet and also some art content, come say hi on Instagram and TikTok or follow me on Pinterest if you like. But for now, I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.